At IPSoft, we do it a little differently. Instead of having an engineer utilize all this information, we have one of our virtual engineers walk through this process, pick up the ticket, go and query the CMDB as we already noted, extract details regarding the application owners and the escalation contact for this environment. It goes through the process of connecting to the database, opens a SQL Plus session, extracts all the blocking lock information from the environment, and follows with custom escalation process based upon the CMDB information. In this case, the virtual engineer generates an incident management ticket with all of the extracted details and recommended course of action and sends it to the escalation contacts identified in the CMDB. If there are no pre-approved actions, the virtual engineer will escalate to the client and ask regarding a specific remediation path. Should we kill the session? Should we trace it? Should we downtime monitoring? The approver can either click the link provided in the ticket update or interact with the interactive voice response system, in which case the automation will run the case to completion. If automation would resolve 100% of the problems, we wouldn't need engineers. We have designed the automation to handle deviations the same way as an engineer would. When it does not know how to proceed, it simply stops and escalates to a senior engineer. During a traditional escalation, the first question a senior engineer would ask is, hey, I know this process always resolves this problem. What's happening now? Instead of having to recite everything that was performed before having the senior engineer go back and verify it, we provide direct access to all the standard out, standard in, and standard error for every step and every decision point, providing a complete audit trail. A key note here is that the automation was able to perform diagnosis, escalation, and radiation in a fraction of the time it would have taken an engineer to pick up these activities. For this incident, automation started at 1714. You can see that by 1717, the automation had run through, query the CMDB, find out who owned the environment, gone in and logged into the database, extract all the appropriate database information, cut a ticket, and was in the process of performing escalation. 